guys, this is such a big thing that happened and I majorly delayed making a video about it. I met Carl Urban, that is right, O-M-G. And to those that don't know, Carl Urban is literally my favorite actor, human, on this planet. I absolutely adore him, he's so freaking amazing and I've seen basically everything he's in. I cannot even describe more how excited I was to meet him. So this all happened back in September, yeah, like three months ago, I know. And this was for Sydney Oz Comic Con. Yeah, it was a while ago, but I'm still kind of like, ew, and I forgot that I hadn't even showed you guys the book that he signed. So this video is to mark and show you that Carl Urban signed my Judge Dredd book. Mwah, I'll just leave that there. So Oz Comic Con is this convention that happens in Australia in all different cities and of course I live in Sydney so I went to the Sydney one in September and Carl Urban was a guest there. So the main reason for me going to Oz Comic Con was to meet Carl Urban and get his signature. And of course I filmed the whole day so I was just sitting on this footage and I completely forgot about it and then a million things happened and then I disappeared for a thousand years and then I just everything exploded and then I was burning in the depths of hell that was kind of just well, hell. So yes, this video is to show you guys that Carl Urban died my book. I know I've said that like 50 times, but I did film a short segment vlog thing um, directly after I got my book signed by Carl Urban. So I'm going to insert it here so you guys can see for yourselves. Carl Urban! <laughs> we, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> in a line for like an hour and a half finally got Carl Urban to sign my judge bed book. I can't even like I can't I, I can't even I can't even life right now. Here we go. This is this is a judge judge dread book. <laughs> Look what he's written. I'm like so beyond excited right now and now I can finally go around and enjoy the convention. He tried to steal my pen. It was the best moment of my we life. We made a really lame joke about that, and he actually tried to steal pen. That's hilarious. I almost let him keep my pen, but it cost me $8. Well, she didn't realize. She like, hesitated. She's like, oh, yeah. Wait, what? what? No. <laughs> okay, we, we have food now. We're going to eat. Bye. Bye. Okay, here is, here is a close-up. There, sorry, there's a random guy yelling. I don't know why. I think he's hungry. Okay, it literally says Kim. I am the Lord Dread, and then Carl Urban, oh my freaking god, freak out. So OMG, Carl Urban signed my book. <gasps> I'm still, I'm, I'm literally, I'm still speechless. I can't even. <sighs> but anyway, if you wanted to see what my book like, so this was the Judge Dread book that he signed. How exciting. And he signed the inside right there. So it says Kim. I am the law. Now I die in heaven. But besides for Carl Urban signing my book, I did have an amazing time. We also went to his panel at the end of the day, which was so much fun. And then people were talking about dread. And then he was like, oh, I might be making a dread if someone gives him money. So someone needs to pay to make a dread sequel. Let's make it happen. Come on. You know, the fighting stuff. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. Um, it was a tough shoot. You know, we, we shot that film for around 29 million in uh, South Africa for 12 weeks, and I loved it. It's one of my most, uh, most sort of favorite working experiences so far. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty happy that it's sort of, uh, it's become kind of a, a cult classic. But I did film a little bit around the convention, so I'm thinking of maybe just inserting a little bit of a montage so that you guys know what a Sydney convention is like. I mean, it's pretty much the same as any convention, I would say, but it is smaller. I guess, but have a look what it looked like here.
So that is what a Sydney convention looks like, guys. I know, pretty much like any other convention ever. There's no kangaroos jumping around, there's no koalas jumping up the poles. It's pretty basic. But I did manage to pick up two books while I was there. I was being very, very strict on what I was buying, so I picked up two trade paperbacks, which I very much want to share with you. So first one I picked up was a Superman one. So this is Funeral for a Friend. So this is the run directly after Death of Superman. So if you have read Death of Superman and you're like, I, how do I read the next bit? Like the single issues are very, very hard to get. Trust me, I know. So Funeral for a Friend is basically a collection of everything just after the Death of Superman obviously as you can see from the title. So I feel like this is a very important comic to be reading before Justice League because obviously in Batman v Superman we did the whole death of Superman so and he will obviously be coming back to life. We don't know if he's coming back to life in the Justice League film but they will be skirting around all these types of issues so I highly suggest picking this up and reading this if you want to have a much better knowledge base about the different events that could occur in the cinematic universe. And the second and last book I picked up was a Batman one. Yes Superman Batman so generic I know I picked up Batman Arkham Asylum by Grant Morrison so I don't read a lot of Grant Morrison stuff because he as if you've watched any of my videos he's a hit and a miss for me he's written one of my all-time favorite Superman comics but he's also written one of the worst Superman comics of all time so you know it's hard to trust him but I've heard so many good things about all of the Batman comics that he writes so I decided to pick this one up I'm a bit unsure about this one though, I will point out, because Dave McKean is of course a brilliant artist, but I'm not really sure he's suited for comic book art. I feel like his art is very intense, it's very illustrated and lovely and beautiful, but I feel like it would actually take away from the story. And I found in comics that I've read that when the art is too intense and takes over the story, you tend to not like the book as much, and that is not something I want to happen. So just having a little flip through, I'll just show you guys what I mean, so let's just get to a random page, you can see the art is very detailed, there's so many different things happening, it's just, I, I feel like it's overly exaggerated, I mean I haven't read the book yet, and obviously it is Arkham Asylum, so it is a little bit over the top, so I'm unsure if I'm really going to like this book, because I feel like the art is always a big factor in me liking books. <laughs> There's nothing even on this page. Great, thank you. Let's get back to the actual book. Here we go. Almost like it's like an artwork. Each each panel is an artwork, like an actual expressive artwork that you would hang up in a gallery, not something that I feel like is suited to a comic book. So um, let me know if you guys have read this one and what you think of the story. Hopefully it's going to be something that I enjoy and hopefully the art won't draw too much away from the story because that is something that will concern me while I'm reading this book. So those are the two books that I picked up from Oz Comic Con in Sydney in September like a million years ago but I'm so happy to finally be sharing this with you because I really wanted to show the freaking Carl Urban had signed my book but if you do follow me on social media you may have already knew that. If you do want to follow me on my social media then my Twitter and Instagram and also Goodreads. Goodreads is an amazing website if you're looking at keeping track of all the books that you're reading it's just really really good. So all the links for my social media are down in the description below so please follow me and yeah. So that's it for the video today guys, I hope you enjoyed. What are your Comic Con experiences like? Well not particularly Comic Con, what are your convention experiences like? Do you like going to conventions? Do you find it's too intense and there's so many people? How do you go trying to save money but also wanting to buy everything? I want to know what you guys think. And as always thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you very very soon. Goodbye.